Uh, well, all right then. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> it was like for some reason kind of just super busy over the weekend. So not only did I not record Friday's Guild War, uh, not only did I not record um, two of the Fire Emblem videos I had planned for Saturday and Sunday, uh, but I didn't even actually participate in the Guild War. So that kind of sucks. Uh, almost got kicked, I guess. I don't, I don't know what our policy is. I've seen people get kicked after one missed Guild War, but I'm still here, so... Um, yeah, we'll see how uh, see how it goes. Uh, but today, uh, I think we won that one. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've been out of it for like three days. Um, so let's see what's, uh, what's going on. Um, we're ranking... Oh, well, I guess whoever we beat there got us in the first place. Nice. All right, so we're uh, <clears throat> rank one guild now um send your applications to the uh, link in dr squirrel's uh videos uh let's see so and we're also kind of stomping these guys out let's go look at how i did on friday because they haven't attacked me yet so on friday i got two successful defenses and i guess they reset everything so like we don't have anything further than that um <clears throat> these are the teams i'm running they're kind of stupid but like i just was like let's try them out um the bottom one, I just realized now, has way too many dark threats. I'm not sure if this is what I had on Friday. There's way too many dark threats there. I need to fix that. Um, yeah, I need to do something about that. Probably just put Charles back down there. Um, yeah, Charles, yeah, that, that looks fine. Um, and then up here, uh, I want... The problem is, with my top team, is I never have cleansing. Um, yeah, there's never enough cleansing. So, like, you just dizzy my top team and it's over, right? Like, no, no one has immunity, no one has cleansing, nothing. Uh, so I think I'm gonna maybe keep Lilius up there, uh, but I really do like Lilius at the bottom to for the dual attacks and all that stuff with uh, a Vildred possibly. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just keep. I have to. I have to figure out what's going on up there. Um, I want to keep SSB, but uh, she's kind of. It's kind of hard because like they just kind of come in here and you can just Euphine her or something or just just take her out and then everything else is kind of easy from there. Uh, but what I do like about the top part is like, if they take her out. Hopefully Charles and Lilius, I get enough um, stupid RNG off that like between the two of them, I just start destroying people. Uh, but yeah, so that's so that's that. Um, I'll, I'll look at that later. We'll see how we do this Guild War. They haven't attacked, and there's you know not only zero, we're destroying them. Um, but yeah, this this fort over here looks like a joke. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is this is horrible. I don't know what's going on here. Level fifties. This is this is like a feeding frenzy here. Um, I almost clicked that start button, by the way, if you saw that. <laughs> uh, that would have been really funny. Uh, but uh, this looks really bad. Um, I just want to take a Vildred and clear all of this stuff. I am going to take... Uh, where are you? You, down here. Um, I had my Researcher Carrot... Uh, boosted to some degree, but she's not anymore, so that kind of sucks. Mm. Where's Vildred? Put Vildred up here. Dual attacks. Okay, I like what's going on up there. Mm, down here. I guess I just like. Don't know what to do. Well, I guess I'll just put you in there, just to whatever's fastest, honestly. And they're all, these mostly is gonna focus her, so I get more uh, counter chances off. Uh, so let's just yeah. I mean, I don't know. Let's just get in there and stomp on them, I guess. I mean, you know, honestly, this is what happens, right? When you reach number one, everybody everybody else is like below you, so uh, it's not really surprising. Okay, let's get this going. Let's see how much I can chunk them for this. Okay, that was fun. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's just hit her. 14k. That's not too bad. Of course, you probably didn't have any defense or anything. Somehow I got a crit, even though she's got like 40% crit. I got all three crits. I, mean, I guess fire on fire is fine, but uh, that water one somehow crit her and she just died. Um, so it's kind of sad to have uh, 
missed Friday's Guild War and then uh, come back to such an uneventful one. Um, but I guess like today, I'm probably going to be releasing. Uh, well not, I mean, yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to re- I'm going to be dropping that shit. Uh, but no, today I'm going to be uh, putting out a bunch of videos. Uh, I have this Fire Emblem video uh, for Aether Raids. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the the defense one. <clears throat> Oh, it's gone. It's gone over here. The tower's down. So two towers have been knocked down. That's why the fort is is up, is open. So let's just hit this guy and that guy over there. If I can click on it, there we go. Uh, so this looks actually pretty meaty. I don't know what's up with that fort. Why it's so weak. Um, of course, uh, gear might be an issue in terms of like how effective it'll be. But uh, let's find out here. So I've been saying a while that you can just try this team. So let's let's see what happens if I if I do try it. So I mentioned, let's see, let's put you if I can. Uh, what's going on here? Put you here. I finally got my Oxlots geared. He's like 240 speed, something like that. Um, which again, you're not gonna outspeed and then just like cleave like smaller squishy stuff because usually like a Basar, you're not gonna outspeed a Basar. They're probably hitting like 280, two, two, you know, 250, 260 even on the on the, that's on the low end, 260. Um, but you can probably hit people like this. Uh, I don't imagine they're gonna be very that fast. So let's just uh, where is um, we'll take her into this uh, if I can find her. Um, where are you? There you are. A little bit. Uh, let's not put you there. Let's put you there. Uh, fortunately, that Lilius is gonna go after my uh, Lilibet, but hopefully we can um, mitigate that. Uh, how much damage that is. The problem being, of course, uh, that um, that once I once I do kill him I, again, like I said last time, the threat of this is still here. Um, so that that can that's going to be pretty irritating. Well, actually, what if I? Mm, okay, wait. Now I'm curious. What if? Yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll. See, I mean, if we're going to test out this theory of like. How well this is gonna work? May as well do it on uh, on a weaker guild like this. Um, so it's kind of iffy. Doesn't look uh, as secure as I generally tend to think it is. But uh, you know that's that's what this is about. Uh, we gotta experiment, figure out what's going on here. Uh, we'll go with you, and we'll go with uh, where is you, and we'll go with uh, where's the light guy? Where are you? Lights are down here. Here we are. We'll go with this. Uh, that looks fine. Uh, hopefully we have enough tank for all this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so let's see. Uh, one of the cool things about Lilibet is she's just like so packed with interesting stuff. So like for one, she's got the... Um... Oh, that's a pretty fast... Uh, what's his name? Oh, this one. She's got a skill nullifier on her S3. Uh, so I wanna, I'm going to burn this. We're going to see how much damage we do. Uh, usually I can kill them without burning. Um, but better to be safe than sorry, right? Yeah, so I don't know if I needed to burn that, but it certainly it certainly doesn't hurt. Um, so now here comes the bigger issue of having to fight against um, Lilius constantly bringing um, Lilius constantly bringing uh, what's his name for the dual attacks. Somehow I resisted. She's not built for any kind of resistance. I don't know why. What business she has resisting that. 16k HP. Doesn't hit that hard. Um, let's just hit him. Get this. Uh, I will. Let's boot. Let's uh, heal her because she's gonna get hit. She's probably still gonna die anyway. But um, let's just see what happens. Oh, very nice. Okay. Let's boost you up again. And I didn't get any bleeds. I think you're supposed to get like four or something like that. And yeah, she's going to die. Uh, so I wasted that heal on her. That was kind of stupid of me, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's do this. I really need to kill that Charles because these dual attacks are, are no joke. Um... Da -da -da. So, yep, he's gonna kill her. That's fine. 
Okay. Got the unbuffable for no real reason whatsoever. Oh, counter one into the. Nope. Let's see how much damage this is gonna do. Please tell me. Thank you. I was just worried that uh, maybe. Uh, yep, that's fine. I was worried that maybe um, that S3 would make the Lilibet lower HP than um, the Ruel, but it's fine. Oh, and still get this. That's one. Come on, don't get the second. Oh my gosh, dude, every time. She's not even buffed either. That's kind of irritating. Like, you know, just what the hell, man. So, obviously, like I said, this isn't as this wasn't as uh, guaranteed as I thought it was going to be. Um, I will have to do this. And you got the counter. That's one into the second. Nope. He's gonna S3. I think she's gonna die from this. Oh no, I barely did any damage. Okay, so I'm going to kill that um, Charles, hopefully. <laughs> I'm about to get s one by Lilius, which is pretty irritating. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Is she dead? Yeah, she's dead, that sucks. See if she strips. Of course, he stripped, and of course, I'm probably gonna lose this anyway. Yeah, it's over. Um, yeah, that's really you know it's over. So that's kind of irritating. Um, I think partially the, uh, I mean obviously the the fact that what's his name. I mean for one, your your oxlot should be a little faster, right? Uh, for two, the um, the fact that he's level 50 and not max awakened means he's like excessively squishier. Uh, again, only got one uh, bleed. Uh, but for three, I mean, like I said, th this just seems like maybe it wasn't such a good idea to begin with, um, which is fine. Like I said, experimentation is part of the process. Uh, I just let her die just to, to talk over it because uh, she doesn't really work good without the uh, ox slots boosting her up anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'll take that loss. We'll be fine. Oh, they're actually tracking our stats now, which is kind of irritating because it just means that you can't really experiment because uh, all the kids in our guild think they're really good at the game. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, kind of irritates me a little bit, but that's fine. Um, I mean, it's not going to like... I mean, ideally it's to like try to... It's 50-50, right? To see who who's doing decently well, but it's also to see who... Let's see, what am I going to hit with this? I'll just like hit you. Uh, it's also like to see who's doing decently well and see how they're performing to know whether we, uh, where their placement should be, whether it should be in towers or you know, all that stuff. So it's, it's it's good to track your players to know what's going on there. Um, but it's also kind of like on the the other end of that coin, like there to help, um, so we're like encourage almost to get people to try harder. But I mean, I'm not gonna give a shit anyway. Like, um, let's see you. Okay, so I wanted to pop that. Okay, and then we're gonna get RS2, and they're basically gonna take ser some serious damage. Wow, that, um. That, uh, what's her name up there? The uh, counter lady. This A Ravi here. Pitiful uh, resistance, like, just disgusting. Um, yeah, you gotta get that fixed, buddy. Uh, I don't know who to drop this on because they're all gonna die no matter who I hit. Fine, I'll just hit you. Ooh, she didn't die. That's fine. I didn't really like 100% expect her to die, but she was close. Also, that guy's not an Elias. I think he would have gotten that if he was with it you, so we don't die. Yep. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, like I said, the strategy on the top wasn't that good. Um, gotta think about it more. Kind of come up with something a little bit better. Let's go see what... Um, Someone took that tower out that I was going to take out, so that's kind of irritating. Like I said, it's just a feeding frenzy out here. Uh, so let's see, there's two here. There's none here. Yeah, so that's all. I mean, I guess that's it. I just got to attack one of these two. Oh, this team looks horrible. Let's go see what's out. Let's go see what else is out here. Uh, this team doesn't look so bad. I like this one. Uh, so let's down here. I'm going to bring you and you. Yeah, that looks like fun. Mm. Oh, they're all level fifty. That's hilarious. Um. Let's do. Let's do you because that looks like fun. Let's do you. And oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll just bring uh, Vildred. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, this looks perfect. Um, let's see how it goes. Any day you can use um, Holiday You Fiends is, uh, is a good one, I think. It takes a lot of to challenge me. Uh, so they're they're very slow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Yeah, that's a lot of damage on that uh, that guy over there. So then we'll just hit him with this, and they should be gone. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah. So as you can see, so there's things like that where it's like, I mean, that's that's probably just I don't know what the strategy was there at all. I don't think there was any strategy whatsoever. But in terms of like, it's important to realize that like. You have to consider your bracket, like what bracket you're in, in terms of your competitive like guild wars, because uh, you can have like the best strategy in the world, but you know you can just have like a freaking you know Vildred come in here and cleave you. Now, when you're evenly matched with someone, that doesn't happen as much, right? A Vildred will come in and do a lot of damage, and you you know your team will have to deal with them accordingly. Um, but he won't just come in and like wipe your whole team. And if that's happening, there's not much you can do about it. Like a lot of people in this game. I find a lot of people don't seem to really understand how big of a deal gear is. Um, and, you know, they like to strategize and all this kind of stuff. And that, that stuff is kind of, like, worthless to me, especially in this game, uh, compared to, like, Fire Emblem. I think I've... Have I talked about this before? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Deja vu. Um, I, I might have talked about this before. But, yeah, but, like, you know, it's always important to bring it up because people forget about it a lot. They forget that, like... Listen, man, you, a lot of times you're just going to get all geared, right? Like, it's hard to find people within your exact uh, gear bracket. Um... So yeah, just uh, you know, heads up to a lot of you people out there. Seven thousand off of two burns is not bad. Just uh, you know, like I said, just a heads up to a lot of people out there is um, don't too, don't put too much stress on like oh do I have the right team do I have the right units? It's like it doesn't matter. Um, these they're gonna outgear you if they're gonna beat you. Um, but like I said, like in that one earlier, the first one we lost in with the ox lots, that wasn't so much out. I mean, we, I didn't get outgeared at all. We, I think we were pretty even there. I, I, I like how how that turned out gear wise. Uh, unfortunately, though, um, it comes down to uh, that was a bad strategy. So you'll find those every so often, but again, a lot of times it's important to realize that like you can have the best strategy in the world, but like if they're if they're um, you know if they're arbiter builder out gears you, then he just one shots every single thing on your team. Then you know like if he's one shotting like your crowd with your best uh, tank gear, then it's like well you know there's nothing you can do about it at that point. Uh, so yeah, uh, so that's it for today. Just a short Guild War video. Um, I guess I'll show off some of the units I had, um, since it's a lot shorter than normal. Uh, this is a pretty good length. I'd like them to be around 20 minutes rather than like the whole 40 minute stuff. But like, when they're more when they're more difficult teams, it's like you got to put more thought into it. And you got to really kind of go on about it. Um, so this is my Lilibet. Uh, this isn't maxed. This, of course, I got the max one. I think no, it might be 13, but that doesn't matter because she's already at max anyway. Um, I also I, I want to think. Of, I'm thinking about using these using her in. Um, so as as we saw last time, we saw we we're, we're starting to see more um, Riolu uh, RB comps uh, with like a third person. Um, so we're starting to see more of those. What uh, what makes her interesting to me is that I really feel like she's a pretty good counter to that. Um, unless you know if it's like a if there's a Lilius there, then Lilius is a pretty good like uh, 
deterrence of her. But like, take, think about that team. If they don't have Lilius, they have something else. If you uh, Oxlots her, you kill the um, the Vildred. Now you're only left with a two with two teams. If you have like a light bait, like I said, the Ruel. Uh, what's his name? The 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 the, the Ruel is gonna hit the the the, um, the Ruel. She's gonna be baiting him. Whatever the other one is doing, who knows what the third one is? I mean, you know, again, it, it changes from here and there. But the fact that she has uh, let's go over here. The fact that she has a uh, hit chance on this. It's not going to negate, you only get like 20%, I think, yeah. It's not going to negate the 70% that these Riolus often have, some of them 80, or some of them 50 to 80 when they get, if they're running the, um, the whatever, the, uh, the Vilas Talisman. Um, so a lot of them have, like, you know, it's really high. It's not like you're going to counter all of it. But the fact that you have 20% extra is, is, is pretty good. I mean, it's, it'll help you uh, hurt them a lot better. Um, so, yeah, like, you know, like I said, she, she does look like a good team for that. It's just that the Lilius and the, uh, the Charles together were kind of like really oppressive, and that's why I want to put them back together on my on my uh, on my defense team. I want to put that team back together with the uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but Ox Lots again, I might consider uh, six starring him. You don't really get anything out of six starring him other than making him tankier, but he's still going to be squishy no matter what because you can't. You're not allowed to build your Ox Lots the way you want to. You're allowed to. You're only allowed to build them for speed. So if you don't have like your best speed gear on him, um, you know. You're gonna get outsped. Um, even even him even him. I have like decent speed gear. It's not really that good. Um, but yeah, so 240, 242. Uh, this boot is obviously unboosted. And when I boost this boot, he'll be at 247, which is decent. Um, like I said, I'll outspeed certain comps, but uh, there's gonna be a lot of comps that like they're running something fast enough to 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 deter him. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that. Um, not much else there. Uh, yep, like I said. Look forward to a couple of videos coming out uh, later today.